Welcome to Sunday Funday Live with What the Hells. All about storage unit auctions. And here we go. Well, it's roughly about the time when I became a man. I wonder if you know where this is going. I saw my first auctioneer with his blind hands. Crowds gathered around and I could barely see. That was the day that the auction got me. I heard him talking fast with his loud voice. From that moment, I didn't have a choice. Had to buy then and I had to buy now. Had to figure out how to get it somehow. He said it's going once and now it's going twice. And now that I resist it at that price. Got it for a deal. I got it for a steal. I'm going to be buying. I'm going to be buying until I heal. I got my first storage unit when I was a boy. Never would have guessed it'd be filled with adult toys. Unicorn horns. It was loaded with drugs and pages of porn. That was the day I found out how I was born. All the dead mice had me scared. Not as bad as the crusty underwear. Had to buy there and I had to buy now. Had to figure out how to get it somehow. He said it's going once and now it's going twice. And how can I resist it at that price? Got it for a deal. I got it for a steal. I'm going to be buying. I'm gonna be buying storage unit lockers until I heal. One turn to two, two turn to three, and now I own lockers from everybody. People come up and ask for their stuff. Lucky for them, I'm just nice and tough. Because they can have their junk and they can have their trash. Just as long as I can film there. I need a good rhyme. Can you guys put some rhymes down in the comments, in the chat? I can film there. Something that rhymes with trash. I can film there. Oh, Anna Lee Gilbert. Cash. I like that. Cash. Had to buy then and I had to buy now. Had to figure out how to get it somehow. He said it's going once, and now it's going twice, and now that I resist it at that price, got it for a deal, I got it for a steal, I'm gonna be buying, I'm gonna be buying storage units with you and everybody else on this YouTube land until I heal. Cause he said it's going once, and now it's going fast, and now that I resist it at that price, got it for a deal, I got it for a steal, I'm gonna be buying, gonna be buying, until I heal. All right, everybody on the course now, if you're at home, sing with me, here we go. You said it's going once, and now it's going twice, and now that I resist it at that price, got it for a deal, I got it for a steal, we're gonna be buying, we're out there buying storage units, making tons of cash, we're gonna be buying, until we heal. Welcome to the What the Hales live stream tonight, where we're going to answer all your questions, or at least those who get their questions in to the chat, and we see them as much as possible. So just a reminder, okay, a couple of different things, housekeeping things we've got to tackle here tonight. Number one, remember, if you have a question and you want to get that answered, so many people get on the live stream, there's so much chat, the way to do that is to send a super chat, okay? So down below, you see the dollar sign, just like just like right there, the dollar sign, if you click that and then you send a message with your super chat, it'll jump right up on my screen. I see it above everything else and we'll try and tackle your question that way. The other thing that you wanna keep in mind tonight is YouTube continues to scrub or to clean their system. Now that means there are a lot and, and many, many, user ID profiles out there that are inactive or they're what's called spam accounts. And so when they, when they scrub that system, 
what happens is your notifications get turned off. So the way to fix that, to make sure that you're notified every time that uh, a video goes live or every time the live stream goes live, is you go in, you make sure you're subscribed. You can even unsubscribe, then resubscribe. And there's always a bell icon. Hit that bell icon. It'll give you three choices. Always click all. That's how you fix it. Okay. So make sure you, you're up to speed on that. And then we are good to go. Make sure you share that with everybody else as well. Right now we got 421. I'm sure we'll have a whole lot more on here as well. Let's say hi to a few people. Kara S says hello. Gene V says hello. And uh, let's see. Cheryl Hollis says, sorry, I missed the show. Cheryl, you didn't miss it. It just started. Pat D's just set $2. Pat D's 72. How big do big bass fish have to be to keep them? No idea. Not sure. That would be a Lunkers TV question. All right. Uh, Donatello says, hi, Jeremy. Hi, Donna. And she says, stop it in quick and hope you're feeling better. Donna, I am. I'm personally feeling better. I'm probably 75%. If you watched any of the videos this week, you saw I was sick all week. But I'm one of those people that will not stay in bed to get better. I get better going out and being active. So working it out of your system. And, and I would have been worse if, if I stayed at home in bed. So those who think I have the coronavirus, a corona, it's corona, right? Remember, I don't have TV. I haven't watched TV in over 20 years. Um, honestly, I have no clue what's going on in the world. I did hear that there was a helicopter crash for those who have mentioned that. But um, but other than that, I pretty much I have no clue what's going on in the world. But I have heard something about a coronavirus, and that's not what I had. I did have a sinus infection. All of a sudden, it was warm in Ohio, and then it was freezing cold, and you know, it just messes all up with everybody. And there's a ton, ton of flu going around right now. But I was fortunate enough not to have that, just a sinus infection, and got antibiotics. And I'm probably, I think, was it Mick that just said, not Sanibel Island? Yes. Uh, Mick Draper said, Sunny, Sunny and Sanibel. Mick, you know how much I love Sanibel. I spent most of the month of December in Florida and would love to get back to Sanibel Island immediately. But I've got some things I got to take care of here in Ohio first before I get over to Florida. And they have to finish my camper. So those who have seen the camper, there's videos of the camper and uh, to be traveling in that full time they still have to finish some things and they're not able to fix the floor like I wanted them to fix the floor. So I have to figure that out too before I can get that thing on the road, which would be great. But doing a whole lot better. We got 507 on right now. And we've got, uh, so William Jordan wants to know, Jeremy, do you ever come to Georgia? William, I was in Georgia twice, two times, two times in the month of December. And did I buy a unit though? I, I, I attempted to buy units in Florida, but, um, but I did not actually buy a unit in Florida. Uh, Mrs. Lockernuts says, good evening. Good evening, Mrs. Lockernuts. Melissa W. Melissa W. is back. Wow. Good to see you, Melissa W. Great to see you. And Tim Halverson, Lake Supper. Hey, what the hell? What the hell with you, man? Okay. So, uh, lots going on this week for sure. Obviously sickness. That was a, that was a crazy bit of a stretch there. Now there were no, there were no amazing units this week that you saw. I have to tell you this story. Is Rob of Second Sense on right now? Has anybody seen is Rob of Second Sense on? Jeremy, why can't you sell phones? Nope. Unintended, Taylor. Uh, Taylor, you just wait. I, I'm going to show you how many phones I amassed this week. So I'm going to show you lots of things that I amassed in one week with junky units. Okay. So that being said, is Rob a second sense on? Rob, if you're in there, leave a comment, Rob. So there was something that happened at the auction. Uh, it would have been uh, Friday that I've never ever seen before happen. Now, two channels captured it and what the hails was not one of them, unfortunately. So we were on the public storage run and I have to tell you about this and there's two parts to the story. 
I, I, okay, number one, something happened that has never happened before in my over 20 years of buying storage units. And I saw the best two storage units of my life on Friday. And so Rob is a part of that story. Okay, so Rob of Second Sense. So Second Sense Auctions and then Storage Legends. Both of these guys captured what happened that's never happened before. We're in Cleveland. We're at the public storage run. And all of the sudden, we're done with that portion of the run and we're going to the next location. Okay, so it's a caravan. There was four locations that day. It's a caravan. We've got to leave. Well, when we all get out to leave, there is a car blocking the driveway. We can't get out to leave. There is a woman throwing a fit, a hysterical fit out in the driveway will not let a single auctioneer person go by because she thinks this is the thing. And remember, Second Sense Auctions and Storage Legends has this all. Storage Legends already released it on their channel. I don't know if Rob of Second Sense has because she thinks her unit got auctioned off. She literally blockaded everybody, everybody. And, and number one, she declared that she was a police officer. So she and once the cameras went on her, she dropped the whole declaring that she was a police officer. Then she said she wouldn't leave until the police got there. She called the police. The crazy thing is, is the police made her leave. And if you want to see all that drama that took place and it was crazy, you got to head over to Second Sense and you got to head over to Storage legends. I unfortunately was at the end of the line and had no clue what was happening because I was at the very end of the line and I didn't get to see what happened unless I got, well, I got to see it on their, on their videos later. So I missed it. It was insane. Midwest picker sent $5. Uh, will you do double or triple webcast with other YouTubers? Here's your fist pump. Thanks for sending $5. Pat D's. There's your fist pump as well, Pat. So uh, will you do double or triple webcast with other YouTubers? Ms. Webb's kicker, I think, are you asking, would I get on a, a live stream with, with a channel? If the channel is what I consider appropriate and fits in uh, and fits in with what I'm about and fits in with my values, then yes, I would accept an invitation to do that. If the channel doesn't fit in with my values and what the channel is about, things along those lines, then then the chances of me actually participating in that are going to be very slim. Anything anything that would actually violate uh, YouTube, I mean, foul language, I mean, you, you, you kind of get the gist of it. You, you understand what the hails. Foul language, boom, I'm out. Uh, inappropriate conversation, boom, I'm out. Uh, you know, things along those lines. So it has to be YouTube appropriate. And, and once I see your channel, then I make a decision whether I'd be a, uh, a part of that or not. Hopefully that answers your question. Now I'm, I'm not done with this story yet. Uh, did whole six, nine, six, nine, seven, three from Canada sent $2 and 79 cents. Wife says, thank you for wearing glasses again. Thank you for your super chat. Okay. And, <laughs> and let's see who else just sent a super chat. Uh, electric, electric elephant, elephant, just like Lord of the Rings. Pondering uh, ukulele for my intros. Love your vids. Thanks for the super chat. I think a ukulele would be absolutely incredible, especially if you know how to play it. Okay, so to see that all that drama that happened, you got to wait. Let me get to the Amish Amish it flipper buck ninety nine. I'm not really mad. All right, thanks for sending. We've got six hundred and fourteen on the live stream right now. So to see all of that crazy drama that happened this past Friday, you got to jump over to those channels. Now remember, public storage is a facility that um, they 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 like to discourage the aspect of filming. And and again, we will always. While I have a, a legal right to film, uh, we will always respect the wishes of a facility if they ask us not to. So we were there and Rob is there with me and Storage Legends is there on the run as well. And this this unit, this is the they were garbage units all day, all day. I was there from 10 to about 430 all day. Last location, Medina, Ohio. 
a 10 by 20 opens up. Can't believe my eyes. Literally cannot believe my eyes. Now remember, public storage uses actual district managers to auction off their units and they go quick. And if you don't jump in and bid right away, you're too late. So this thing goes up, it's model gas airplanes. I mean, stacked. It's models cars, labeled. I mean, it's model everything a guy like me could possibly want who loves toys. Uh, Conky's Flipping Life or Conky's Flipping Adventures would have just been dying, just drooling. First unit goes up and I want to bid and Rob is actually bidding on it. And so I, I want to go up to Rob because remember when I found the vintage Harley Davidson and I sold that to Mike Wolf of American Pickers and Rob and I went 50-50 on that. Remember that? So I'm walking up to Rob to tell him, hey, let's go 50-50. You know, I'll, I'll go in with you and then you sell everything again at the auction house. We'll just go ahead and do this. Well, Storage Legends jumps in and he's bidding on it now. So I'm, I'm confused and I'm telling I'm trying to tell Rob, hey. Let's go 50-50 and it gets sold before I actually can tell Rob 50-50. It sells for four grand. Now, if I have a guess, this is what hurts, okay? This is what hurts. I think there was $100,000 of merchandise in there. Potentially, you never know until you actually get in there and you actually price everything. But potentially, that could have been a $100,000 locker. It was one of the best ones I've ever ever seen in my life. Okay. That being said, storage scavenger just jumped on. Hi, Jeremy. What the hills? Just wanted to say, jumped in and show some love, sending some love right back to you. So we go to the next locker and my heart is broken and they announced the next one is owned by the same individual. I immediately tell Rob, Rob, you bid. We'll go 50, 50. I don't care. I'll, whatever it is, 50, 50. So Rob is bidding. So I back off. I'm not going to bid against Rob, right? And so Rob is bidding. It gets over $4,000 and Rob stops bidding. So I'm kicking. I'm literally kicking Rob. Bid. I'm going bid, bid. And then the district manager sells it. And that one sold for almost five grand. And I'm like, Rob, Rob, another probably potential of $100,000 unit. And so we all walked away. Storage Legends. Second Sense Auctions, myself, that, those were the units. Those were the best units I've ever seen in my life. Every other unit on Friday was garbage. I didn't even place a bid. Garbage. And I think I just walked away accidentally from a quarter of a million dollar investment. That hurt. And that hurt bad. But all week you got to see me buy garbage units. And I'm going to show you some of the things that we got in the garbage units. We got 669. That's a great number there. Remember, tonight we're going through the flash drive as well. This was found in one of the units. We also have the mini micro. And the Manitrarium just sent $5. I'm always looking to buy license plates. I just found one today. Thank you for the super chat. So I just found one today. And I set it aside, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to – I've been scrapping all the metal of the license plates. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the front door of the, of the warehouse, and I think I'm going to license plate the entire door. I think that would be kind of cool. 672, remember, we are going to figure out what's on this flash drive from a storage unit, and we got the micro mini. But before we do, I've been sick all week. You've seen me buy very, very uh, inexpensive units all week. I bought a $60 unit of six, or maybe it was like a, maybe it was a $50 unit, a $50 unit, a $5 unit, and a $5 unit. So let's say, let's just go on average. I spent under $200 this week. That is a low, low week for me. I want to share with you what that looks like as far as showing you some of the things that I found that you don't always get to see. So for example, I find money all the time, right? So here's some Susan B. Anthony's. Those were actually shown on the videos. A couple Susan B. Anthony's. Here's another, here's another dollar right there. Now I found so much change this week, it's ridiculous. That all goes in the change jar. But uh, here's some more foreign coin because I just think it's awesome. And Mary Deathly Deals just sent $4.99 late 
but present and accounted for. Thank you for coming in, Mary Deathly Deals. Oh, 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 oh. things powerful. Just for you, Mary. Calm down, Hulk. Calm down. All right. But some of the things that you didn't see, unless you're following the stories, and I share different things on the stories in YouTube than you'll actually see, and different things on the community of YouTube than you'll actually see in the, in the actual videos. Okay. So one of the things I found, and I have a plan for these as well, um, I found... These are so cool. This is why I do a, a thorough sort afterwards, okay? So I found all these Indian rupals, and I, I, I do, I have a plan. I have a plan to use these. It's gonna be amazing. So here's 100 rupees. Here's 100 rupees. Here's 50. Here's another 50, so there's 300. And then there's another 40 right there. So super cool stuff. I've got an amazing plan. Uh, what did you say? New to? I mean, I mean, you two? Yeah, yeah. I got a plan for these. It's going to be amazing. So it'll be a ton of fun uh, when I get to use those. Let's see. STEM camp projects. Is the Egyptian princess okay? Should I be praying? Thanks for the super chat. That's a great question. You should always be praying for all things at all times. Okay, now, you know I love gift cards as well. This is from four units that are frankly garbage, right? I mean, literally garbage units. I spent less than $200, and this is cash as well. So there's the stack, and I'll again, I'll do a cashing in gift cards uh, later. So let's just, we'll grab some of these, okay? So I'll just show them to you. This is some of the stuff that you can get in storage units. AMC Entertainment, $15, right? Right there. Subway, and again, I have not checked these yet. You know I do a video and I check and we see how much money is on there. So there's Subway, Eat Fresh. Here's the Apple, that's a $50 Apple card. $50 Apple iTunes. Here's the Meyer. And here is Cedar Creek TV, although I'm not sure what that is. Have no clue. Here's Walmart. This is that's a ten dollar Walmart. And then here is a Visa debit. So that's just part part of the stack of cards from the week. All right, I'm gonna set those aside as well. All right. We're getting on, oh, we're at 750. Good, because we're getting to the gold and the silver. Are you ready for the gold and the silver? This is nothing in regards to a week of storage units. This is all the watches, all the gold, all the silver, silver, all the jewelry, okay? So let's just take, let's just take a look at some of the things. All right, here's an Elgin. There's an Elgin, that's one watch. And Amanda Branson just sent 99 cents. Thank you, Amanda. All right. So there's there's one watch, right? All right. Let's just see what we can do here. There's one watch. Here is what kind is this? I don't know what kind that is. I don't think you got to see all of these because I found I found some of these through a more thorough sort, sort later. Here's an antique, and some of these watches can be 200, 300, 400 dollars. Here's another watch. Here's another beautiful watch. Here is another bracelet watch. Okay, we're just gonna start. Here is that watch. Here's this watch. Here is another. Here is, let's see, here's another. This is an actual sports watch. And here's just the gold plated face right there, okay? So here's all the watches from the week, right there. Uh, you got to see this. This is 18 karat gold. So that right there, we're looking probably $100, right there. And, oh, here's another watch. You didn't get to see that one. And if you were watching on Friday, you got to actually see the Opal. 
Now, I know the video quality isn't the best. Video quality will increase, I promise. But there is the opal, and then you also have the missing diamond, okay? So we're looking, this is gold, and this is this is opal. This came from, this, this was from a $5 unit, I think, right? Yeah, this was from a $5 unit. Oh, by the way, I did find 10 francs in there. I found a foreign coin in there as well, which you know, guys, you know I love finding the foreign money. So this was from the $5 unit. This is roughly probably four to $500 ring. And it is missing a tiny diamond, but I get so many diamonds that I can have that reset. So that's an incredible find. Now, for all of you who go and you watch the video and you go, oh, that's not a sapphire. That's not a fire sapphire. It's an opal. I'm going to let you in on a little YouTube secret, okay? Here's our secret. But you got to promise to keep this just between us, okay? YouTubers will sometimes say the wrong thing so that you'll correct them in order to drive comments. Because when you make more comments, then that tells YouTube that people are interacting with the video and then they push it in front of more people. So, shh, it's okay. I know it's noble. So do you. Let the other people keep telling me. All right, so there it is. That is that beautiful opal ring. I think this is a size seven, actually. So there it is right there. But uh, even cooler was this beautiful, I think this was from a 50, this was a $50 unit. Look at how much silver there is here. And again, that's complete and total sterling. This thing is heavy. So we're probably looking three to $400 right there uh, from a $50 unit. So there's, there's plenty of money to be made. That is just the jewelry and watches gold and silver from the week. Okay. Uh, Crocker's locker says, no way, Jeremy. Yes way. I think that's one of the tips that I told you guys. All right. So that's, let's see, that's foreign money. We got gift cards for the week. We got jewelry. Do you guys want to see the it and the tech type one? If you want to see all the laptops, the IT, all the cell phones from one week of garbage units. Type a one in the chat if that's what you want to see. We got almost 800 on right now. I see ones, 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 ones. Kathy, red shirt, one. James Aaron Smith, one. Are you guys sure you're even ready for this? Um, somebody just sent a super chat. I lost it in all the ones. I'll find it. I'll find it. I promise. Holy one. Oh, there it is. Uh, Debbie storage breeze. Oh, that's awesome tip. Thank you. There you go. Bam. Excuse me. <clears throat> so ones, 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 69. Nice. Chuck Russo sent a 69. Listen, Chuck, just between me and you, <laughs> and you get a fist pump. All right. We got 805 on right now. Let's look at all. Oh, locker notes. Jeremy, please don't give out all the YouTube secrets. Don't we have a code like magicians do? Um, if there was a code, I wasn't sure that there was a code. All right. Uh, I'll go back and I'll edit that out of the video. Locker notes. Thanks for the $5. That's my good buddy, Jack Locker nuts over in California. Got to hang out with him in May of this past year. Looking forward to hanging out with him again. Jack, when are you coming to Ohio? All right. Let's get into all of the laptops and the cell phones. And it's going to be, holy cow. All right, here we go. Now, here's a couple things that, that I do need to share with you, okay? If you recall, the one unit that I bought and we found the two laptops. Oh, man, it's slipping out already. All right, so we found the two laptops in the unit, right? But I didn't find the cords. I do want to let you know after the full after the full search through the unit, I still couldn't find the cords. So to get into these laptops and share with you what's on the laptops, I have to go and get cords for them. So there's that one, which that was that was the end of last week, I think. Okay, so here's this one as well. This one is the compact. And again, after after the full sort of the unit. I did not find the cords, so I have to find cords. You would think somebody such as myself who gets so many cords would hold on to cords, but honestly, I don't. I just send them to the scrapyard because I get so many. But I think I'm probably going to start holding on to them. Okay, the rest of everything in here, this is all the IT, the crazy stuff from the week, okay? We need – who's from India? 
Hello, Kelly Parks. Hello from oh Indiana. I have India on the mind. Indiana, Jeremy. Hello, Kelly Parks. All right. Okay, here we go. We've got an HP. Okay. Now I did not find the cord for this either. So I can't share with you tonight what's actually out here or on here, okay? So we're going to have to wait on this one. This will go with the other several hundred laptops that I have that I need to get cords for. Are you guys, I want you guys to keep count, okay? Because I'm not going to be able to keep count. So you keep count how many phones I pull out, all right? This is our big bag of phones from one week, four garbage units. This is our cell phone haul. All right, one smartphone Samsung. You guys are keeping count. Here's another matching Samsung smartphone. Here's another, what is that? I don't know what it is, but it's another smartphone. Remember, keep count. Here is another Samsung, needs a new screen. And Frank Chapman sent $5. God bless you, Jeremy, from Ashland. God bless you as well, Frank. Wait, you're not making me angry, Frank, I promise. Here we go, Frank. Bam, there you go. Okay, back to the cell phones. Um, here is a Verizon, another smartphone. Right there, you can see there's the, the lights for the studio. All right, so there is another smartphone. All right, the big bag of smartphones. Here we go. Here is another smartphone. Okay. Here is another smartphone. Oh, look at that. See, look, see, I got two laptops going. This is the laptop I'm streaming from, and this is the laptop I read your comments from. All right. We've got another smartphone. We've got another smartphone. All right. It looks like you guys are keeping count. I don't know if you guys are making guesses or keeping count. Another Samsung smartphone. Uh, we have another. Is this, a, this is a ZTE. Oh, look at that with a little ginger man. Um, we have yet another. I think this is an iPhone and it belonged to Ryan. So there's another smartphone, and we have another. We have another smartphone. We have yet another smartphone. We have, we have, let's see, we got a lot in here. Okay, that's all the smartphones. We have a pad. So how many, how many smartphones did we have there? Let me know how many smartphones. We got over 800 on the live stream. Let me know how many smartphones. Remember, whoops, there it goes. We are, I'm going to share with you what's on the information, the flash drives and everything afterwards. So, so far, Mick Draper, I'm going to buy stock and smartphones. I'm, isn't that the truth, Mick? So when I tell you I have thousands at the house, I literally have thousands of these at the house because I don't get around to sell them. Thank you, Mick. Okay. And they're actually, they're sorted in totes. Gwen sorted them in between smartphones, flip phones, and all that kind of thing. Um, all right, so let's get back, let's get back to the 1980s. What do you say? Because now we're going flip phones. Bam! 1980s is calling. Are you going to answer? So there's one flip phone and another flip phone. And remember, this is four units, junk units. These aren't even good units. There is another flip phone, and here is yet another flip phone. This is, this is just crazy to me. Okay, so those are our flip phones. Now we've got, the, remember the sliders? There's the twins, every man's dream right there. Bam, one on each ear. All right, uh, so we'll set those aside. Then we have whatever. Oh, look at that. That one slides to the side. That's like the hoedown showdown right there. Throw it all together. That's how we roll because it's hoedown showdown right there. Okay. 
So we have these as well. We have we have a Garmin. Uh, electric Elephant, when school ends, I need two road trips to intern for you. Electric Elephant, I need employees. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. All right, and I also found this 4G LTE, which I think this is a hot spot. So a random battery, a random cord, which I never found what this cord goes to. And that is all of our phones. So give me the grand total. How many phones, how many phones total did we have today? How many phones total? Holy phones, Batman. You better believe it, driveway barbecue and brew. This, and again, remember, this is just from this week of me buying junk units, crappy ones. I'm showing you the money, the gold, the silver, the jewelry, all the cell phones. That's what it looks like. The IT, the tech, all of that. Okay, so Randy Moore says 17. Nancy McMichael says 22. James Aaron Smith says 21. James Aaron is usually on top of things like crazy. So it might actually be 21. I see another because I can 22. Uh, Anna Gilbert, ever find a piano? And Anna Lee, find pianos all the time. Run away from those units. You cannot give away a piano. So like I found a piano and I couldn't even gift it to Goodwill. They wouldn't even take it. I had to pay Gwen $10 an hour, a full day's worth of work to beat the snot out of it with a sledgehammer so that I could actually throw it away appropriately. That cost me money. Uh, Summer Days, just at $10, number one fan. Mm, Summer Days, I'm your number one fan too. And Flippin' Adventures just sent $5. Am I the only one getting flashbacks to Sesame Street's the account? Don't forget to hit the like, the thumbs up one time or three times. Remember, if you, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you dislike it, hit it twice. Let everybody know how much you dislike this video. Careful. I didn't have it on. Things going crazy. All right. Uh, so when you come across pianos, I would run away from pianos. Piano resale is no matter where you're at in uh, your region. A lot of times I talk about regional buying and selling and how you're going to make money in your region, what sells in your region. Pianos, nobody wants them anymore. Okay. So that's going to be a very, very difficult resale and you're going to get stuck with it. And, and that takes up a lot of space. So remember, to do this, you have to be able to move the things, you have to be able to store the things, you have to be able to sell the things, okay? All right, let's get to some of your questions. Oh, you know what? We got mail. We didn't even get the mail yet. We're halfway through the program. We didn't even get the mail. Hold a second. Mail song. We got mail. All right, mail. We don't have any. Mail song was completely and totally incorrect. We have no mail today. I should chat too. Uh, Kimmy Jaggers just sent a buck 99 with a big thumbs up. Thank you, Kimmy. It's always, it's, I, think, I think it's actually he's hangry. I know where he got it from. All right. Let's see if we can get into your questions. If you guys have questions, feel free to actually ask them. Uh, Conky's Flippin' Adventures just said, couldn't you actually charge people to beat them? Probably could. And what most people would tell you is insurance, insurance. Well, if you have them sign a waiver, you should be fine. But why not pay somebody to actually beat it? All right, let's see if we can get, uh, let's see if we can get to some of your questions tonight. Uh, Timothy Comanche says, hold the male song. It's a new era. You need to do a gender neutral song. Never, ever. If you're a man, be a man. Step up. All right, Island Thrist. Um, Island Thrist says, Jeremy, your channel was the first I subscribed to. Island Thrist, my, my channel was actually the first channel I subscribed to as well. <laughs> Believe it or not. That's, wait, I... Actually, I don't know if you can do that. Well, I did because I have a personal channel and then I created What the Hales channel. So I subscribed to What the Hales with the personal channel. I think I'm still subscribed. I don't know. I should probably check that. So Gary2244 says, have you ever found a banned Little Mermaid VHS 
and I think he might be new to the channel. So Gary, there are many videos uh, discussing that, showing that, and teaching you how to find the values on that as well. So what I'm going to refer to there is go back, check the videos, lots of the videos. There's probably four or five, even within, well, I was just in Texas in November, and I think I found one there at a garage sale. I think I have five of them at the house right now. All right. Randy Moore says need a fishnet. It just so happens I have one. Guess where I got it? This is this is an actual fishnet. I got this at an auction. So it was a church. It was a church youth group. They used this as a decoration in their youth room. And the church was moving out of the building. So it was a full church auction. It was really cool. I got a lot of cool stuff. And I got that fishnet. So absolutely love it. Hung it up because I have a whole nautical theme in my bedroom. Which is where the studio is as well. So, all right, 940. Remember, we are we're going to get to the flash drive. We're going to get to this stuff, even though I showed you all the other stuff. Wouldn't it be great if we get into all those cell phones? Okay. Amanda Branson's, what's the weirdest thing you ever found? Amanda, it all depends on your definition of weird. So this week I found a whole bunch of teeth. Now, I think that's weird. All you moms out there, you go, that's not weird. I gave all my baby teeth. Uh, I think it's weird. I think it's weird that people buy teeth on eBay. And so uh, that was probably the weirdest thing that I actually found this week. But, man, you just have to define weird. I mean, you define weird probably differently than I define weird. Have you seen all of the unicorn horns that I find on a daily basis? Um, have you seen some of the adult play drawers that I've opened up? And uh, what about you, you, all of you guys in the chat? What is the crazy, what's the weirdest thing I've found, which for this past year and a half you've been watching, what is the weirdest thing you think I've actually found? Let's see what everybody else says, because I'm curious. I think we even did this last week too, but let's do a little refresher. Um, Amanda Branson said, ha, 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 love the unicorn horns that you find. I should be keeping those in a collection. I should put those in a display case just to keep it, just like I just did. And you actually, that should be what I should do. I should hold all of them for a month and then show you at the end of the month and go, look, this is how many unicorn horns I found. And balloons, the balloons. Oh, my goodness. Um, Dolly Dolls is say, you are seen into his bed. Yeah, you are in my bedroom. You're all in my bedroom night, right now. Because I can, how do you find lockers coming up for auction that aren't online? I'm from Quad Cities and new to the game. Bam! Because I said, I just put out a video, I think it was two weeks ago, teaching you how to do that. So let me see if I can find that really quick. I'm going to see if I can grab it really quick and put the link in there. Actually, you know, the link is in this description. It's in this description of this live stream right now. Or no, it's, no, it's not. I don't think I changed those settings yet because I put them in the other videos. So let me see if I can find it for you. James Aaron might get it before I do, but I'm still going to see if I can try and find it for you and then put it in there. So this video is going to teach you how you find live auctions, how you find, how you find uh, online auctions and, and the best it's going to give you tips and, and, you know, best practices in regards to how you should bid, what you should bid, things along those lines. So it's a good instructional video. If you're new to the game, this is this is good instruction. And remember, I always share this with you 100% absolutely free. So I put this video out because I was going to film with Lunkers TV and Lunkers was actually asking me all this stuff. And I said, listen, I'm just, I'm gonna make a video. And so that's what I did. I made a video for, for him. And then I made it for his his new people that would be coming over as well. Let me, I'm on, I'm on the video right now. And remember, it is instructional, but follow through with everything. And you're gonna be able to you'll be able to do really well. Because I I, I lay it all out there for you. 100 percent You get you get everything that I know. And there it is. I just put it in the chat. Somebody else probably got it to me beforehand. Probably. Well, there you go. Melissa W. got it. Aaron probably. Everybody probably got it before I did. Sorry. I'm slow. I can't read and all that at the same time. Okay. Uh, Shirley Creation says finding a lot of cash is weird. 
they lost their unit. They had money to pay for it. Now, remember, but remember, Shirley's creation, you think that's weird. But remember, profiling is what we need to do. We need to profile every unit before we bid, and we have to properly profile. If we properly profile, then we're going to make money, right? So weird that there's money in there. I don't think it's weird because I know from buying nine out of 10, every single one of these units, these people are in jail. That's just the fact of the matter. So if it's a drug dealer, which we buy plenty of drug dealer units, they're in jail. Well, where's their stuff going to be? Hiding in a storage unit. Why was there a quarter of a million dollars worth of models? In my opinion, I don't know actual values. This week in Medina, I went home. I have so much regret. Kaki and I were texting and he's like, remember what you always say? You always regret the ones you didn't buy. And I was like, yeah, I regret it so bad. Those were the best units I've ever seen. Why is there a quarter million dollars of models? The guy probably passed away with that much. Okay. So we get people who are hoarders and they are compulsive buyers. And now the other thing that went through my mind, this had to be a store that went out of business, had to be. That's the only thing that I could come up with. This was a store that went out of business. They didn't know what to do with all the merchandise. They put it into storage and then probably passed away. And I just, oh, my heart ached because I wanted it. I really wanted it. But that's okay. I probably couldn't, I probably couldn't handle that much volume right now because I need to hire enough employees so that I can keep making YouTube. Remember, YouTube is a full-time job in itself. So it's either I get back into the reselling of it or I keep employees selling it and I do YouTube. I can't do both. And you guys all know that I'm looking to hire a full-time camera person and editor as well. So that will alleviate some of the whole YouTube process. And if you know individuals who are looking for that type of position, uh, make sure they contact me so I can get them on board. I did have a potential prospect that was going to do that was going to do a um, was going to do a test run at an auction, but um, he decided to go another direction, and that's okay. Just want to find the right person. Not just any person, it's got to be the right person who can take the channel to the next level. Everything I do already, you guys all know, I do everything on my phone. You got to be able to take the channel to the next level and keep up with current YouTube trends. Okay, uh, somebody asked, do you have any, okay, Carolina ITM, do you have any ghost stories, just in general, not haunted storage blockers? I love asking people the question. So Carolyn ITM, so uh, we obviously find ashes a lot. Uh, I've never found an actual dead body unless it was a mouse or another critter, but no ghost stories. Number one, I don't believe in ghosts. So that probably in itself, if you start with that foundation, I don't believe in ghosts. You don't look at things and go, oh, that was a ghost thing. If something fell, you go, that was a gravity thing. Something fell because I believe in gravity. I don't believe in ghosts. So that being said, no, no ghost things whatsoever. I get people all the time going orbs, 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 orbs. Here's the thing that happens when I, when I record, okay, so when I record, this is how I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to record, okay? So normally, I would record boom, 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 like this. So I'm actually recording all of you right now. So you can see it's recording, right? All recording. So it's recording, no flash. Now, as soon as I turn the flash on, this is what I'm going to do now. And you're going to get blinded. So as soon as I turn the flash on, every dust particle that flies through here, and I'm working in dust all day, every day in storage units, that reflects, why is the sky blue? Because all the dust particles in our atmosphere, it's hitting the sun, and then you get that reflection from the dust. All right, so the same thing. You're seeing the dust, just like the dust that flies through your hallway when the sun is coming in. And so I get people all the time going, they're orbs, they're orbs. And I make fun of them. Uh, you, you, enough of you know that, that I make fun of them and I have fun with it. But if you start with the foundation that you believe in ghosts, then you're probably going to say everything is a ghost. But I don't start with that foundation. I have no ghost stories. I don't believe in ghosts whatsoever. I believe your soul either goes to one of two places. It goes to heaven or it goes to hell. Now, if you want to talk about demons, that's a whole nother category. All right, Frank Chapman, $7. I got an envelope full of balloons the other day in the mail. Wrong address. I accidentally opened it. It was from the AIDS outfit. That he said. Oh, my goodness, Frank. Oh, man, Frank. Uh, balloons is code for, well, watch the videos. Because I don't actually say those things in the videos. Uh, we use code words for them. So that being said, 
Uh, Melissa W. says, them boards are dust, dust, dust. Okay. What? Okay. Possibly human wants to know, what's the most vile thing you have ever found? Um, I have, I have addressed this before that I found the confession of a murderer who stabbed to death an elderly couple in Ohio. And he was, he was on death row. And when I read that confession letter, I was in a 7,000, my 7,000 square foot warehouse all by myself. And frankly, it made me sick to my stomach and I was out and I didn't touch that unit for it was probably a year later before I finally got in. And that was the Dolomite unit. OK, so all of you who know that I bought the famous the famous actor, Rudy Ray Moore, his actual real name is Rudy Frank Moore and Randolph Frank Moore is actually what it is. But he went by Rudy Ray Moore. And then you've all seen the Eddie Murphy Netflix uh movie on it now. So remember the production company flew from California to come and purchase a lot of that documentation because there's a huge battle in court who gets all the residuals from all the sales. And there was the sugar mama saying, it's all me. I'm, I'm the, I'm the beneficiary. And then there was the family going, no, it's all me. And so they spent thousands of dollars for just paper from me. And once I got into it, her, uh, the one who claimed to be his actual daughter, even though there's no legality to his daughter, it was sugar daddy, sugar baby relationship. Uh, she, her brother, violently murdered an uh, elderly couple with a knife, got the knife from the kitchen and stabbed them repeatedly. And I read that and my, my stomach sank to my teeth. I left the warehouse and I didn't touch that unit for a long time. And then I finally finished it up just a few months ago. And I, I put that up there. I finally finished it up once the, the My Name is Dolomite movie came out. I was like, all right, I got to finish this thing. So I finally did finish it. I got done with it. And I was like, boom, done. Okay. Uh, Michelle Cole. Hi, Jeremy. Just wondering, have you had a chance to look up that ACDC money? I have not, although I did see it again today because I just moved all that out of the trailer today and into the warehouse. So I saw it, haven't looked it up. That's not actual money. That is the cassette cover to the cassette tape from the ACDC cassette tape. All right, let's see what else we have. And, uh, Amanda Smith said, creepy. Melissa, yikes. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Um, <laughs> Missy Sparkle says sugar family should not go out in the rain. And that's up to lawyers to decide, not you, Missy, unfortunately. Um, let's see what else. Oh, it looks like phone light is still on. Oh, it's off. It's just the shine from my oily skin and my balding head. All right. Mm, okay, give me questions. Don't feel sorry for me. Uh, what did I do with the confession? I threw it away. He was he had already died on death row. He had served his sentence. So Chris Sardaski asked that question. Have you ever watched any shows bidding against each other? I have watching you counts right. Hello. AMK 2000. Have you ever watched any shows bidding against each other? I have watching you counts right. Hello. Not sure what you're referring to. That's a tough one to actually answer because I don't know what you're actually referring to. Let's see if we can get another, another question. I'm going to put this flash drive in while we're trying to figure out your questions. Okay, Jim W., do you use a camera stick to hold your phone when you're recording? Nope, Jim, I don't. I have my phone and I do it just like this. I literally, just like this, in somebody's face, in my face, whatever, boom, like that. Boom, like that. That's all I do. So remember, I do everything on my phone. I record, I edit, I compile, and I upload all on my phone. Veronica Morgan, when are you going to go back to your brothers in Texas? Well, they have invited me back to Texas. Number one, I have to get well again. That sinus infection was killing me this past week, and I am feeling better. So that being said, I got to get better, and then I'll jump back out there. Okay, almost 900, 900. Uh, Marv Cohen says, what is a question you have never been asked, but are you are waiting to be asked? Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to let you guess what that one is. It wouldn't be no fun if I tell you everything, right? You'd stop watching. 
Uh, Mookie Pookie, are you an Ozark fan? Mookie Pookie, I don't even know what Ozark is. Unless you're talking about Ozark Trail for camping or, or what's going on there. Uh, what is the most happiest thing you found which made you laugh and cry at the same time? Sherry Edwards wants to know what's the happiest thing I found. Made me laugh and cry? Um, I don't think I ever cried at finding something. But when we found the $15,000 worth of gold, silver, and gems in the $400 unit in a garbage bag, I got to say, that was a happy moment. Uh, when we found the vintage Harley Davidson and then sold it to American Pickers, that, that was a happy moment. Uh, when you find a safe and you open it up and it's filled with money, that's a happy moment. Um, when you find a ton of change, by the way, my first cashing in change, remember the first cashing in change video that went viral with the amount of one, two, three, four, five, six, that was all from the Dolomite unit. And part of that, part of that whole process, people say, oh, they buy something, they put change in it. It was part of the dementia with both of them. That was him and her. It was just that I, I saw all the drugs. I looked up all the drugs. I can, I mean, I've got all of the medical history. It, it was messed up. It was a mental thing. So that was the first cash in. But when you find all that money, that's, that's a happy thing. I don't think I've cried yet finding something that's been happy. I don't think I've cried finding anything. I almost cried. I almost cried with not actually getting the units on Friday. But there's another auction tomorrow. It starts at 10 a.m. And so it's at 10 a.m. It's another caravan. 10 a.m., noon, 2, and 4. So I'm looking forward to that. And it is the only auction of the entire week. I've got to buy. I've got the itch. I've got to buy this week because I'm going to go crazy if I don't. Okay. Uh, AMK2007. Do you have other any other jobs, other jobs than bidding? I, are you asking if I have other jobs? I've been a landlord for over 20 years. So uh, real estate and uh, flipping properties, um, reselling and all kinds of things like that. So I, I get my hands on a lot of things. I mean, I have an entrepreneurial spirit. That's just what I do. Okay, Rockfish Reseller, do you save good stuff as assets? Um, that depends on what you mean as far as good stuff. There's very, actually everything in my house right now is from a storage unit. If, if, if you, well, I guess it's from an auction. This, these, this is a gift from you guys and gifts from you guys. And, but almost everything, almost everything, probably 99% of the things in my house are storage units. But other than that, hi, Adam's Exploits. Um, I don't like holding on to things. As a matter of fact, that's the thing I don't like because when you do this, things overtake your home and I don't think that's right. I think you need to separate this from your house. You need another location to store everything. Do not let it overtake your life at home because once you do, it's so hard to find separation and it, it, it truly affects negatively your, your life. I mean, your, your way of life in all reality. All right. Let's get into this flash drive, okay? So I already have it in the system. This is the very first time I've ever found anything like this on a flash drive. I have it in. I'm going to show it to you. Ooh, all the gift cards just fell. So here we go. Oh, a Crocker's Locker says that's what we're dealing with now. Find other space, Crocker's Lockers. Uh-oh. Are you going to be able to see it? There we go. Okay, you can see it. All right, so on this flash drive, if you see down below, it's a file. It's Xbox 360. I'm going to open it up for you. I've never found an Xbox 360 file. I didn't even know you could put Xbox 360, and I'm a video game guy. Uh, I don't play them. I just collect them and resell. So on the Xbox 360 file, there you go. You got data one, data two, data three, data four, data five, data six. So that being said, that's all. That's it. That's what was on there. It was all Xbox. Now, the micro, the 16 gig micro, 
I couldn't find an adapter. I know you're all thinking right now, oh my goodness, this guy's got to have a million adapters. 900 of you on right now, you're going, where's his adapters for the micro SD card? I couldn't find one in the house. They're all at the warehouse right now. So we have to wait next week to get on this actual thing. Timothy sent $2. How's the apartment that had the fire? Good question, Timothy. I was actually there today checking on it. Thanks for the super chat. All right. Uh, the apartment that had the fire, everything... Everything is almost finished. It's looking beautiful. Actually rearrange some of the walls. So, you know, blessings in disguise in all reality. All the drywall is done. Now I'm picking the carpet. I'm picking the, the tile and the paint colors. And so by the end of next month, that should be complete. All right. Whew. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's take one more question. One more question. Uh, Kelly or Kathy Barnett says, agree on the separation thing. Trust me, separating will make your life much, much better. Okay. And uh, uh, Thomas Wendell wants to know, do you still have the Jaguar? Thomas, I do. If you want it, you can have it. All right. With that being said, it's been a hails of a night. Should we sing? What should we sing? What, what song do you guys want tonight? How about this one? You love what the hails, type what the hails. Mr. Buys a lot, five dollars towards your next locker. You pay for it. Thank you so much, Mr. Buys a lot. If you love what the hails, type what the hails. If you love what the hails and you love making sales. If you love what the hails, type what the hails in the chat. Come on, in the chat. Here we go. Sing with me. If you love what the hails, type what the hails. If you love what the hails, type what the hails. If you love what the hails and you love making sales. If you love what the hails, type what the hails. Crackers, lockers, you too, you can sing. Thanks so much for joining in tonight. Love you lots. Mwah! You guys still here? Okay. All right. So for you faithful ones, for you ones that actually stick around for the song, I know a lot of you have questions and tonight. I know last night we had a little bit of inter or last week we had a little bit of interference. Okay. But tonight I'm going to answer your question because I, I know you want to know, you want to know where the hails George's and she's 